Hi, this is Lisa Hanfaletti, and I just got off a call with uh, Terry Stevenson, and we're both so excited about this Facebook group about Every Family Needs a Website. And we're continuing to do a little research and ask people questions and try to give people an idea of what our vision is and find out from other people what they think a family website could do for them. So I wanted to show you what I created for my family. So I'm going to share my sp screen right now. My mother is 87 years old and she lives with me. And um, she's gone through a, quite a significant series of health challenges. And she just yesterday left to go to uh, the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast, so I grew up on the East Coast. So she's taking this kind of last trip to visit family and friends and grandchildren and great-grandchildren that she hasn't met yet. And I needed a way to communicate with my sister and my brother, who are the people that she's gonna be staying with, about how to take care of her. Because there's quite a few nuances in what um, she can eat and her energy level and her medications is a big deal. So I wanted to create this um, website or this area where they could go and get the information. But I also wanted uh, my nieces and nephews, and I wanted my mom herself, who's quite savvy on the iPad, to be able to go to this website and see herself and get excited, but then not see areas that maybe could, um, you know, that are have kind of pertinent information. So this is what I did, this is what I wanna show you. So I just created a, a, a section here that just has a whole bunch of pictures and talks about the journey when she first moved out here. So this is a little slideshow that you can either scroll through by clicking on or um, just let it play through. So this is just her moving out here, and my sister and my brother, this is when um, she actually left Delaware, this was four years ago. So anyway, I, this is one section of the website. So it's just kind of, again, to get everybody involved and, and make it kind of fun. And then the meds and stuff area is kind of some of the, um, the health challenges that she's gone through and just kind of a fun way to look at some difficult situations. And obviously we're all excited that she's able to uh, make this trip. And I'm gonna come back to this because there's this little spot right here that says uh, private. And that's um, also has to do with this login area. Um, this section is let's eat. So this is some of her uh, uh, favorite recipes in here. So I have just this sort of little Again, a lot of this stuff is just fun. I'm not a website designer and I'm learning how to do, uh, create this website using uh, Builderall, which is the, the um, platform I highly recommend and I love using. So this just has uh, recipes, some of her favorite recipes here. And this is for my sister because she wanted to know what my mom is eating and what she could make for her. So I put just four of the recipes here and I can easily add to this. That's the other fun part is even um, while my mom is visiting, I could add other recipes in here. And then this is the schedule of events and I don't have this up yet. And yesterday they just left. And so we took pictures in the airport. So I'll add them here and I'll add an itinerary. But this is the part I wanted to show you. So this is a, this little link right here that if you're not looking, you won't see it. And that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted it hidden. So when you click on that private section, it requires a login. The fun thing about this login and uh, the Builder All software is you can designate whether or not you want people to log in after they've um, left an email and created a password or whether they've made a payment or in this case, the way I have it set up is I have to manually approve them. So anyone could come in here and try to register and put in a, an email and a first name and, a, and, and make a password. But what happens is that comes to me and then I decide if I wanna manually approve them or not. And that's how I have this set up. So my sister and brother are the only two people who, uh, who can get in here because they put their email and created a password and then I manually approve them. And then I had somebody else try to get in and I saw them and I just deleted them so they can't get in. So that's what I love about this. So this is the restricted area. And in this restricted area is where I've used the e-learning platform to create um, a whole series of just short videos showing them 
um, what to do in different situations. This is how to take care of uh, medications. And I even showed some videos of me giving my mom medication so my sister and my brother could learn from that. Um, different uh, advice about mealtime, different advice about troubleshooting, some things that might come up, and then some bonus videos in there. So this is my, um, my version of everyone needs a website. You know, every family needs a website. And I think there's a lot of different ideas, but this is just how I've started things out. And I'm so happy to be working with Terry because she's got some amazing ideas about creating a family legacy um, with a website. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you some ideas. Please comment below. I'm not used to doing these, these videos. Um, I haven't figured out how to go live in the group yet, but I will. But for now, I'm just going to upload this. And I hope this, this gives you um, some inspiration and uh, shows you that this can be such a practical, practical tool. I've already heard back from my sister and brother. They love the website. They watch the videos and it just makes it so much easier for us to be able to take care of our mom and communicate and, um, and help each other out, which is what it's all about. So thank you guys. You have a great day. And I look forward to hearing what you have to say about this. All right. Thanks.